fourth. It's the first Friday, but more than that, it's the feast of St. Francis of Assisi. I, I suspect, I imagine, next to the Blessed Mother, put her aside because she's on her own quest by herself, she's probably the most popular, beloved saint, not merely by Catholics or Christians, but even those of perhaps no faith or you know, other faith. He's, he's that well beloved. They said, they said about him that no one was more like Christ than Francis was. So read from uh, the Gospel of, of Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorus, and woe to you, Bethsaida. For the mighty deeds done in your midst has been done in Tyre and Sidon. They will long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. They more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon and the judgment than for you. You know, Francis always so peace loving and gracious man, which he was, his own simplicity, a little short man. But remember, I had a chance to tour Assisi. And again, I remember reading the story, but I remember they brought it up, you know, they brought it up again, reminded me that uh, he was tough on himself. You know, he was a man of the Italian vim and vigor and you know, those urges, the sexual drive. So often he would sometimes roll in the snow or on thorn bushes, you know, to chastise his body to get control. So as kind and gracious he was, he was, he'd be tough. In fact, at the end of his life, he apologized because at to, at to his, his, his body that he didn't take good care of it. He told the body, I'm sorry that I did not you know, that I did take better care of you. So I know we like Francis because we see him with animals and he had a way with animals. And it makes sense because animals sense, right? They say they know someone, who say they know someone who's kind, they know someone who likes them, they, they pick up things, they're very perceptive. So even for Francis, they really must have felt in the birds and the wolf and the, that he was able to approach them because they think they sensed and felt his goodness. Well, one thing I hold against Francis, not hold against him, but I know he even said it that um, he said, preach always, you know, preach always, but so, and sometimes even use words. Well, I think unfortunately now we have to use words. We have to speak more. Is this what it calls for? But we need the patience and love, the peacefulness of Francis. His poverty, so noted for that, but his total dedication. And then we're all called to be dedicated. We all have our own way, our own calling. We find Francis then to be a person of peace, peace and graciousness. But when it comes to sin, we do anything we can to avoid it. God bless you.